So lately I've been having this issue. I just replaced my blower fan back in July and that thing, it would just quit. It wouldn't work at all. And now it's like whenever I turn the fan to high, it'll like, now it's not doing it. <laughs> of course it's not doing it. But usually it'll uh, slowly fade out and then go up for like five or ten seconds and then come back on real fast and it'll do that three four times and then it seems to be fine when I when I start driving it's almost like after the car warms up well anyway I think it's something I neglected to do when I changed that uh, blower fan from the get-go I should have changed the control module so let's check it out So this is the uh, same brand that I got for the blower fan, uh, Amazon. I don't recall the price, but this is supposed to go, like starting in 2004 on the Impalas when they switched the fan speed, there's like 20 different dots on it. It switched from an actual resistor to this control module, and it goes all the way up to the 2016 Limiteds. There's a wide variety of GMs. You can tell there's different mounting holes on it. But uh, it comes with a new pigtail because apparently the factory one sometimes burns up. Came with a new pigtail. Uh, this end plugs into the fan, this end into the module, and then it gave me some new screws and some butt splices. I don't know if those are heat shrinks. If not, uh, I have some heat shrink ones in my garage. And a registration card, all that good shit. So here we go, let's do it. Raise your hood. Go to your under hood fuse blocks. Fuse box, not blocks. And locate this fuse right here. On the panel it says it's 30 amp bat four. Take that fuse and pull it before you go any further. You will see later in the video I've edited this in at the beginning. You'll see why. Just do this. Or disconnect your battery. Either or. I think this is just easier to pull the fuse. So just like before when I took out the uh, blower fan, you got your two clips here and here. You're going to need to pry the center out with a flat blade. Let's try some. I can't remember if I zoomed in on that. Right Alright, so let's just spin this around. You can see there's a spot for you to put your screwdriver in. And then you can put that in there, pop that out. Like that. And the center comes out. There we go. And I'll do the same over here. Try to leave the center in that one. Sorry for the shaky camera. Nope, that didn't happen either. I'm holding this with my left hand. There we go. Isn't there a third one? I think there was a third one back here. Yes. Okay. I was wrong about the two. That's right. I forgot there's a third one back here. Back here. Yeah. How soon I forget. There we go. She's down. We'll put the, take the light out. All right. And let's look for that module up under here. There's the blower fan. Oh, it's way back. Oh, here it is. Clear as day. There it is. Right there. Woo! I think that is... Is that a damn rivet? I think that's... <laughs> so that's why it came with screws. This right side has a screw. This side does not. Well, let's just... Uh... Here's the blower. Oh, 
Okay, these are the three wires coming off here. Okay, red, black, and this looks like a gray with a black stripe. No, oh, it's just gray. I think I'll go ahead and just cut these right here and just leave that connector on there. Okay, here's what that new harness looks like. These are really long. These are the three I'm going to chop. That one looks like a gray with a black stripe. We'll connect the purple to that and then black to black, red to red. And then these two will plug into the van. All right. There is no way my camera is going to, this tripod's going to articulate flat so I can actually record this. But this one bolt here, it's 730 seconds. And then this, I think I'm going to try snipping that off just the top of it with a with my utility knife and then get it to drop and I think I'll just snip those three wires right there with my wire cutters I'll try and hold this camera here while I do this with my other hand let's get them all three what I just learned there Disconnect the battery. I heard a fuse pop. <laughs> that was really stupid to cut these. Cut them individually. Don't do what I just did. That was stupid. That was really stupid to do that. So, take a lesson. Cut them individually. Alright, and the offending part has been exercised. I did what I did. Just went across it with my... Uh, utility knife and it cut the top off. There's a nice spot to mount a new screw. This side came out real easy. And as you can see, like I reiterated, cut these off one by one. Not the way I did it. And we'll see if this is... I don't know if this is going to be all messed. Ah, I'm not going to try. It might even be burnt to the thing. So we'll discard that. Okay, the little mishap I had earlier where I just ham fist <laughs> snip those wires don't ever do that just learn from my mistake here found the fuse it's this sucker right here it's a 30 amp and it says on the cover bat four and guess what i don't have any fuses like this in my garage i just have the uh little atm or whatever they're called so i gotta go buy one of these please do not do what i did all right so i think what i'm going to recommend to everyone here Go pull that uh, fuse I just showed you at the very beginning before you get to cutting these wires. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna edit in a new piece at the and I'll put it at the beginning of the video and tell you to pull that fuse. So I think this harness is a little too long. So check it out I'm gonna even though I'm not connected to anything I'm gonna cut these individually I've learned my lesson so I went ahead and I cut these to the same stripped them to the same this one purple one I went a little longer than folded it back I went through my stash and got some of the uh, heat shrink splices I had a red one laying around. I got two yellows. These are for uh, 12 to 14 gauge, and these are actually 12 gauge wires. So I'm going to crimp these on first. And if I can find that little red one I had laying out, I'll get that one on there too. Well, I had to go fish out a new red one. Let's just do these one at a time. These are heat shrink. You see the little notch there. I'm going to get turn this the opposite side. So I go opposite the notch. Get a good crimp. And we will do the same here. proper way to crimp these butt splices. Don't use a pliers because you'll never get that proper 
This has a little dimple in it, gives it a good, good bite. And you make sure you always put that dimple on the opposite side of this little bump stop. <laughs> well, I thought I had that one. Apparently I didn't. Let's start that one over. Alright, try number two. Pointing it the right way. Let's give that one an extra squeeze. There we go, that ain't going nowhere. Oh, cause see, I put this one closer to the edge. That's how that one got to stay. Okay. All right, oh, and one more thing. These new screws that came with the kit, they are a one quarter inch. So make sure to switch your socket over. Okay, now carefully, cause I told you to go pull that one fuse under the hood there. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. Since you pulled the fuse and you cut these off individually, you did them the right way. I'm gonna get my. These are 12 gauge wires, so correspond with your 12 on your cutters. There we go. This one is like a 22 gauge. So go to the very small. I'm going to cut a little more off than necessary so I can fold it back over itself. I'm going to twist this one. I'm going to fold it back. Real, real tight so that'll go in that. And then give these a little spin. Actually, I should probably make sure these are all the same length. Let's do that. I'm going to strip a little more off of this one and cut it the same. It's not really the same length. I'm going to make sure these, all three of these are the same. Okay, we're all level. All three of these are level. Let's start with the little one. And we gotta pay attention to where we made our crimp because that's exactly the side we're going to use. Engage that all the way. Make sure it's in all the way. And get that hump on the correct side. I'm going to give this two crimps. Okay. Give it a pull. Alright, next up. Let's do... That should have been in the middle. Let's put these in the right order. Purple one goes in the middle. Black one on the end. Red one on the other side. Okay. Pay attention to where we're... Where that goes. Make sure it's in all the way. All right. Good and solid. All right, let's make sure this goes over. Clicker in all the way. Wires were upside down. and snug okay all right very carefully away from everything melt that a little bit
done. All right, our new harness is spliced in. Now let's see if I can record getting this in. So we're gonna go this side faces the driver's side, I believe. That's the passenger side. And remember the one on this side, you had to slice off that little tab. Now you gotta, there is a place to drive that screw in there, so it should be pretty easy. Quarter inch socket, new screws. Get my janky light out of the way. Okay, where are you? Way back here. Let's go ahead and, uh, nah, I'm not gonna plug that in now. I'm gonna try to get this up in here. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm hanging upside down. I'm gonna try to get the one, first one started. obviously going to drop back down while I try to... Okay, the deep well might not have been a good idea. That was not a good idea to do the deep well. bit to go on this before it but as you see it's if you can even see it it's dropping down I need to push that back up in there before it gets to the point where I can't get it in there okay let's find where that second one goes this one's gonna be a pain it just trying to start this by hand okay I got it going kind of how the hell I'm gonna get my ratchet up in here I don't think that's gonna work nope so uh, while I go get a ugh, quarter inch short socket found a little open end wrench and a short socket so we'll start with the short socket. Back to, oh yeah, perfect. The only problem is I can't ratchet. So maybe the open end wrench be my best bet. Yay, she's going. Would have been so much easier had they mounted it with a screw from the factory. We don't need to record this whole thing. Alright, so I was literally hanging upside down <laughs> up under there. I'm going to see if I can get this thing under there. I got a little light hanging on the top of the camera so oh, ah, there we go we're upside down there we go this was the that was the one so as you can see we're in and I'm gonna plug this in all right and over to the fan Isn't it like here? I think it's here. Okay. Like this. Just 
clicked in. Yep. Okay, now got some extra wire. I don't know. I think it'll be fine if it just kind of hangs there because that cover is going to cover it up. Okay. Well, that was not fun. But I got my clips. I'm going to plug the light back in. Yeah, this hides it real well. Make sure we got it up under there properly. And we're going to start with this one. Make sure I got it lined up. Right there. Yep. Alright, I'm not going to pop the center in until I get these all lined up. That's it for under the well, dash. Here we go. So if you messed up like I did and popped the fuse, this is the replacement FMX 30 amp. I got that at AutoZone. It is a direct clone to this one. Send in the clone! Alright, so whether uh, you pulled the fuse to begin with or you popped the fuse like an idiot like I did, like a jack wagon. Plug her back in. Garage is close, so I'm not gonna start the car, but we will test. All right, all right, all right. Let's call that one good. And again, I will reiterate, pull that damn fuse first. Don't be an idiot like I did and cut those stupid wires. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this informative. Give me a like share subscribe if you'd like and we'll catch you in the next one thanks for visiting